Displacement vector. Let us consider a particle moves from A to B and then from B to C. In order to explain the displacement vector, what I'm going to do, I'm going to consider a particle moving along the path AB and BC. So let the particle is moving along this path. So this point is basically A, which is the starting point, And this point is B, which is the final point for path AB. And the path along which the particle is moving is known as actual path. Now, if you look closely, it also says that the particle is going from B to C. So basically, this is another path that particle is taking. So this point is B, then this point will be C. And the path along which the particle is going is the actual path of the particle. As we know, the actual path of a particle is different from the displacement or the actual change in the position. So to find the actual change in the position, which is basically the displacement, what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect point A and point B. And if I connect, I will get this arrow, which is basically my vector P. And in the same way, if I connect B and C, I will get this vector, which is my vector Q. So basically, the actual displacement when the particle is going from A to B is vector P and when the particle is going from B to C is vector Q. Now, this is the change in the position of the particle. So as you can see, AV is vector P and BC is vector Q. Now, if you look closely, A is the starting point and C is the final point because the particle starts at A and the final destination is C. If we really want to find the actual displacement, what we should do we should connect a with c and if we do that we will get vector r now this is kind of interesting huh because you can see a triangle so basically what we are getting we are getting a one side of the triangle with vector p another side of the triangle with vector q and the third side of the triangle as vector r so basically this picture over here is a triangle with vectors p q and r now how do you find the resultant displacement so the total displacement is given as vector r is equal to r is the total displacement which is basically the resultant of displacement P and displacement Q. So we can write vector R is equal to vector P plus vector Q and this is how we will represent the displacement vector.